So when someone shares a storyline template with you and you want to use or customize what it contains, here's what you can do. From the storyline launch screen, which is what we're looking at right here, you'll see this section called Create a New Project. And there's an option at the bottom of the list called From Project Template. And if you click on that, you can navigate to the file that you want to use. So I've got a story template file right here. I'll go ahead and double click. And once you do that, it's going to show you all the different slides that are available in that template. So here's the one that contains the tabs interactions that we've prepared for you. And this has several sets of tabs. There's some with three, four, or five tabs, and you've got tab sets that are um, on the left or the right or the top or the bottom. So you've got lots of options. And we're going to go with this one right up here, the three tab set with the tabs on the left. And then we'll click import. And once you select it like that, Storyline will insert that slide into a brand new file, and then you can take it from there. You can add or customize your content however you want. Now one question that sometimes comes up is, what if you already have a project open and you want to repurpose something from a template instead of starting fresh like this with a new file? Well, that's really easy to do too. You can come up to the Insert tab and then choose New Slide. And if you've already used the template before, it's going to show up in this templates section. So you can click this top tab here, and then you'll see all of your templates available. You, if you don't see the one right away that you want to use, you can choose a different template from up here. So here's a bunch that I've used or saved or gotten from other people. And then here's the one that we were just working with. Now, if you haven't used the template before, another way of getting to the slides that it contains is to import them. So we've got an import option right here. You can click Storyline. And then down here in the Project Type selector, you can choose Story Template and then navigate to the file that you want to use. And then you can import just like you can from a normal Storyline file. OK, so let's say we've added a slide from a template to our course. And we like the idea of this Tabs Interaction, but what if we really don't like the background that it contains? Well, we've got a couple ways to control that. One way is to come up here to the Design tab, and then we can change to a different theme. So this dropdown is going to give us lots of choices, and you can experiment with what you like and what works best. Um, like this one right here, the Shine one is a nice, subtle one, or you could maybe go for, I kind of like the Starburst one. So those are some things that you can explore. Another thing that you can do is to use a different color theme, and that's going to change the look of your slides as well. So up here in Colors, once you apply one of those themes, you can kind of scroll over any of these items and see how my background is changing accordingly, depending on which of these color themes I'm hovering over. So that's another thing that you can explore. And yet another thing that you can do, let me just switch to the clean theme here. So I have a white background. Another thing that you can do is to change the background directly rather than going with a design theme. So to do that, you can right click in your slide workspace and then choose Format Background. And then you can select whatever you want. Like if we wanted to use maybe a solid color, we could go ahead and apply that. Or if we wanted to experiment with applying a gradient, you could do that. There's even an option to use a picture or a texture for the background or even a pattern. Like that one would be kind of crazy, but might work for some situations. So those are some of the ways that you can you know, change the look of your slide. And then beyond that, it's really just a matter of adding your content. So you can put your own objects like text, images, characters, whatever, on this base layer of the slide, as well as each of the individual layers that we've set up for you. In fact, here's an example of one that I've already um, kind of built out here. So this is my base layer of my slide. And then if I go to any of these layers, it's got different content on it. And then if we preview the slide, we'll get a look at how this behaves. So we can hover over any of these tabs and then click any of these tabs to see the content that they contain. So there you go. That's your tabs interactions and some different ideas for ways that you can customize them. And hope you enjoy working with them and hope that's helpful.